Greetings Capricorn and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're all doing well and let's dive right in and see what the message is for you Capricorn. Uh, you're here because you're meant to hear this message right now. And thank you Spirit Guides for overseeing uh, this reading for a Capricorn. Will you come into the reading with the Eight of Cups which is saying that maybe you're having a change of heart about a situation that's very important and on your mind but especially in your emotions right now and you're having a change of heart about this opportunity you've been presented a new gift to take some uh, potential out and expand it financially with your career but it also could be that you're having a change of heart about something you're working on, how you're dealing with your investments. Uh, and it's going to bring you the five of swords at the foundation. Well, for me, at this uh, time, the five of swords is saying Capricorn. It's in the mind. You're thinking about uh, winning and losing. And maybe you're feeling like, well, I uh, have this opportunity, this potential to make money, to grow, to expand, but there's a lot of fighting. Is it worth the fight? Uh, do I want to uh, keep on battling against a, a big a force? This is like David and Goliath type energy. And, or do you want to just uh, put your sword down and walk away? Do you need to stand your ground for this change of heart, uh, this opportunity? Uh, or uh, the influence from your recent past was you were apathetic, despondent, bored, uh, feeling disappointed in your relationships from the past, which is leading with the Eight of Cups to say, I'm ready. The juice is gone out of this situation I've been working on and fighting for and defending myself against and maybe uh, feeling like, do I have to win and lose at all cost? Uh, you could have a chip on your shoulder because there is some sadness, uh, loss, regret in relationships, but you're being offered another cup, uh, something new that you might want to walk toward that has more juice, that is your true destiny. And it's coming with the Nine of Swords because at the uh, crown, you're worrying, you're in a nightmare, you're ve feeling very anxious. Um, you have the five and then to the nine. So there is a sense of uh, battling, uh, feeling that there is bullying energy or victim victimizing energy that is causing you to worry about someone else perhaps or worrying deeply about your own situation and feeling um, cut off in the doldrums, not knowing how to move forward, can't sleep but can't wake up. And you're going to have the magician. Uh, this is Gemini uh, Virgo energy. It's going to help you right now. That's coming in the near uh, future. It's on the horizon, a way of letting go of this nightmare, of waking up to the uh, pure potential power you have in your own personality. And you're going to use all of these uh, tools that you have at your uh, disposal, what's on the table and tap into that higher uh, power uh, to move forward and to create and to manifest and to uh, bring this coin uh, down to earth. And you're going to pull out anything from your heart that has been uh, burdensome, that has been wounding you. Um, you go from the three to the five to the nine, so there is a progression of coming to understand mentally whatever has hurt you, uh, a divorce that has left you wanting to move on, um, a situation where there was a breakup in a relationship, that there was a lot of fighting and boredom and apathy and worry and nightmarish energy. But you're moving on from that um, with the ability to use the environment. Uh, this could be a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, someone who is a very a bright, uses their in intelligence um, by looking at the facts of what's going on and seeing um, whatever has happened in this heart, this breakup, uh, this heartbreak that could have been uh, something you moved away from already, but you're seeing it clearly or that the environment 
is seeing uh, this energy clearly for you, helping you to uh, get above the clouds and bring the truth uh, to whatever has happened in your heart in this relationship. And it's coming with the hope and fear as the sun will shine on a new partnership uh, that you're coming into. And it's going to be optimistic, clear, radiant. This is Leo. And so when the sun shines a Capricorn in your reading, it's illuminating this whole situation. And it's saying it's a very empower, empowering, optimistic, a successful, happy. But there's joy and vitality coming. After you let go of any heartbreak, any uh, fighting, any sense of winning and losing um, that caused any nightmare or mental anguish, you're moving forward and you're going to take this out with the uh, four of wands. Well, you're going to celebrate. It's coming to this fulfillment. You're coming to a finish line with all of this energy, uh, Capricorn, and you're going to uh, uh, celebrate this with a great harvest with other people under the sun, with truth and clarity, and get rid of any of this mental conflict around past hurts and relationships, and make magic with uh, whatever it is you're leaving behind with this nightmare, so you can take this coin and to use your gifts and skills to bring this down to earth and make it real. Uh, and to, if you do need to leave behind anything where you were fighting, a uh, feeling like victimized or feeling like it was uh, just too much of a burden, you're letting that go and you're going to take a new opportunity in love to receive that offering recently. And that will help you move beyond this nightmare. Uh, toward the sun, uh, toward uh, this uh, celebration of what you are creating and making magic in the light of the sun with growth, optimism, expansion. And uh, you hit the finish line now, Capricorn. So a beautiful reading. I hope this resonates. Wherever you find this is for you, Capricorn. Please leave subscriptions, thumbs up, and comments. And sending you love back. Bye-bye.